Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. Today I'm gonna bring you another review. The reason probably a lot of companies are coming out with new machines is because of the holidays uh, and the Christmas time and everyone purchasing gifts. But this is a Blue Eddy. I will be honest with you, I like Blue Eddies. I've dealt with the company for a while and every time they've sent me a product, I've had no problems. I've never had to contact their engineers and say, well, what's going on or how do I use this? It's always been very clear. So this is the Blue Eddy AC200L. This was sent to me absolutely free. I get paid nothing to do this video. Uh, I will get nothing if you buy one from Blue Eddy. Uh, I do get to keep the machine, which is a great plus and a great benefit to me and to many other people. But let's get right into this machine. This is a 62 pound roughly machine. It does come with two handles, so it's an easy carry for two people. Uh, it will be a struggle if you are an elderly person and try to move this around. This machine has just come out. Uh, they have one very similar to this, and this is an improvement on that. I totally think uh, much better features. This one is 2,048 watt hours, so that's how much juice is in the battery, 2,048. It is a lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, and that's what we're looking for. It is powered by a 2,400 watt inverter uh, with a surge up to 3,600, and it is a pure sine wave inverter. The nice thing about this one, uh, Blue Eddy's been around for a long, long time. So if you're thinking maybe down the road you want to expand this and get an extra battery, uh, this will take their B200 or 210, it will take their 230, and it will take their B300. So you can definitely expand it with multiple batteries and really make a complete power system for your house uh, if the grid goes down. Now, to charge this, it charges with a regular cord that comes with it no big old power brick you plug it in and you have 1200 watts so that's a respectable number if you are needing more power you could definitely go with get into their app but you will need their app to do this and you can go in there and get the select the 2400 watt now i will warn you this cord that comes with it you'll have to buy the heavy duty cord because it's pulling way too much juice for their standard cord um, but you will be able to power it at 2400 watts you will make sure your houses can accept that you really need a dedicated 20 amp circuit just for that you can also go into their app and select the silent which is at 800 to me that's important because if i'm using my honda 2200 generator and I do have a little bit of juice left after I'm powering something on the homestead and I have 800 watts left, I can change it to 800 watts and then use that power and charge this. This can be powered dually. So you can power it with the grid and your solar panels or with a generator and your solar panel. Uh, so you have a lot of options to put a lot of juice in there. It also comes with the cigarette lighter adapter, but as you all know, that's very, very slow. So hopefully that's not your primary way to charge this unit, but if you're traveling and it's down a little bit, you can definitely, as you're driving, charge it up. This, as I said, has the ability to use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you can definitely have a lot of added features. You can check things. So if you are definitely the nerdy type and you like that, this will definitely let you do it. This comes in a nice bag. All your power cords will come in a bag. So that's, an added benefit to keep everything right with it so you don't lose it. Let's go and show you what's on the machine. Uh, clear on off button, very easy to use. A very clear display that gives you everything you're gonna need. It does come with the RV 30 amp, which I think is important. Uh, for me, it's important because I've put in a backup heating and cooling system where I can use this 30 amp uh, in an emergency on my house. It does come with four regular AC plugs and your 12 volt is over here. This is your cigarette lighter and your USB. The thing that it has confused me on this is they give you two 100 watt C, but the problem is it can't pull 200 watts. It can only pull 142 watts. So I don't know why they gave you two when you only can use one at a time. Uh, they also give you this 48 DC uh, you will have to buy the plug for this, the cord for this, to use this. Um, so I'm a little concerned about that because I couldn't test it out because I do not have the cord. But overall, it gives you everything you're going to need on the homestead. This also is UPS. 
uninterrupted power supply. I have no use for one on the, on the homestead. I'm not trying to keep a computer running for work or anything, um, but it does have that feature if you need it. Um, it also has pass through. So the pass through will let you put juice into the machine and take juice out at the same time. And that's important. Uh, most of the bigger machines now all come with the UPC or the pass through. Uh, when I was running this, the fan is quieter than the other models, so I found that to be nice. To me, I like to hear the fan running because that means it is cooling this unit off. So I don't have a problem with a fan noise at all. I like a high fan. I want to know this thing is getting maximum cooling when I'm using it. Uh, the efficiency of it. The AC inverter was very good at different levels. When you pull... Uh, power out of this if you pull it at a low level or a high level it will give you a different reading but my readings were in the 88 to 89 percent efficient so that was good on the dc side it was a little bit lower than i wanted uh but still acceptable now if you're going to use and run dc if you have a small refrigerator or freezer uh, this thing will run it my biggest concern when i'm running a refrigerator or freezer that during the night the compressor is not going to kick on enough and it's going to shut off because it's trying to save power. It does not do it on this one, so that is a very big positive. Some of the things that I really like on this is the ability to charge this with solar at 1,200 watts. That is key. Right now, I'm running two freezers in that room over there, and the machines running it can only accept 500 watts of power. To me, it's limiting me. It's causing me a little bit of problems on days that are a little bit cloudy. This one will accept 1,200 watts of power, um, and that rates from between 12 to 145 volts. So you can easily get 1,200 watts of panels, uh, wire them in series very easily, and, and get maximum input into this machine. Uh, to me, that's very important. Another key thing that's important to me, and this is all practical things, the ones charging over there, I have to unplug them every night because if not, the relay keeps clicking in and out when the sun goes down uh, until it gets totally dark. So to me, this morning, I had to go over there and plug those in and I wasted at least two hours of sun because I didn't get over there quick enough. With this machine, you can leave it plugged in, go to sleep. It does not have that problem with the relay kicking in and out. It will handle that. And that is a huge plus. Because if this was a, you know, a, a definite emergency, the grid was down, I lost a couple hours of solar where this unit, if plugged in, would not lose that. I would be getting it immediately as the sun comes up. So, a practical use of this thing, every freezer, every refrigerator is different. But this one, you're going to run it easy 30 hours, plus or minus. It depends on your condition of your compressor and it depends on your size. But typically, you're going to get about 30 hours out of this with no input. So if you're not inputting anything into this, uh, it's gonna keep you a while. So if you you know, have small little power outages, this will definitely save your freezer and refrigerator. And food being so expensive, you can easily have $1,000 or more in a freezer uh, nowadays. Uh, let's talk about customer support. Customer support is very big. Blue Eddy's been around. Uh, you have the ability to call customer support. Many, many companies I deal with on power boxes, you cannot call them, you have to email them. So having a phone number is probably a very big plus. So they are offering this as a special right now through Amazon, and I think it's $14.99. Uh, they have their Blue Eddy actual site, their Blue Eddy site you could go to, and it's $14.99 plus. They provided me a $100 off coupon if you use Southern 200L. That will get you $100 off. That will make it down to $13.99. And I did notice on their checkout sheet, if you work for a hospital or have military or some other uh, places where you work, you can get a 5% discount. Uh, so check that out too. So, you know, we're down to probably $0.70 cents a watt hour, which is very good for uh, a name brand machine like this. So hopefully I covered everything. If not, if you got a question, send it to southernprepper1 at yahoo.com and we can talk about the power boxes. But for me, the plus for this one is expandable. So down the road, you can add another battery. And the ability to charge at 1200 watts of solar is huge. And the ability to leave that solar hooked up 
So immediately when the sun comes up in the morning, you're adding power to that. So there's some big pluses to this for the prepper for the home center. So I will leave those links for you. Thanks for watching.